Hey you guys, it's me Linwood and I'm back with another Thai video for you. This time, as you can see, I am doing something a bit different and I am wearing just a plain old knot on my necktie. So, nothing special here. It is so boring to me. But, I'm doing it for good reason because I want to show you how you can change a plain old necktie into a bow tie. And I know some of you may be wondering, why would I even want to do that, Linwood? Well, let's say you're balling on a budget, like myself, and you wanted to have a little bit more variety with your bow ties. You're kind of tired of the same old neckties. You can actually take some of your bow ties, especially the cheaper ones that aren't as bulky, and change them into a necktie type of, or take your neckties and turn them into bow ties and be able to get a completely different look out of the same tie. And so that's what this video is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down for you. By the way, if for some reason you're saying, well, you know what, I, well, heck, you know what, if you can afford multiple bow ties and all that, then why are you watching this video? I don't understand. But who knows, maybe you just wanted to be nosy, and I'm fine with that too. Or maybe you just have a favorite tie, like this one is my favorite, um, even though it's a cheaper one. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And, um, you know, maybe you wanted to turn it into a bow tie because you like it just that much. So what you're going to do for this one, I've got the wide end of my tie on my left side just because it's easier for me to tie it this way. I've got the thin end of my tie on my right side. Uh, on the camera you'll see uh, my right side will be on your left. My, or my right side will be on your left. <laughs> my left side will be on your right. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and start here. We'll count our buttons down. So we're going to start at one two, three, and four buttons down. I'm just going to place the end of my tie on that fourth button, just as a good measure. And I'm going to go ahead and take my tie, pinch it off just so it's thinner, and I'm going to cross the thin end over the thick end. Alright, we're going to bring it up through the middle, and we're going to pull it nice and snug. Okay, so I'm just going to push this off to the side for right now. Now what we're going to do is take this bit of the tie that you have left here, and I'm just going to take it and buckle it over just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and make sure it's about even. So I'm just looking at my corner here and my corner here, and checking and making sure, and I'm judging them really by my jawline. You can kind of see how they match up pretty well with my jawline, so it's a good gauge. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my tie and hold it right in the middle like that. Bring this piece back over and cross it right over the middle and underneath. And then earlier when we did that, we created actually a little pocket back here for a loop. So I'm just going to take my tie. I'm going to stuff it right through that little pocket, that little tail in there. All right. Oh, Lord. All right, there we go. And I'm just going to pull it, not all the way through, just a little bit so I can kind of work that tie. And so I still want it somewhat loose just so I can kind of take and play with this. Now, right now my tie is looking like this. And I know it looks crazy, it looks a bit flimsy, and you're probably thinking, Lewin, this tie is not looking all that great. Give me a moment. So you're going to take this tail end of your tie here, where you've got this little awkward point now, and you're going to take it, and if you notice, there's a little pocket right back here. So you're just going to take and fold that and tuck it right into that pocket. Ah, you're seeing it starting to shape up now, right? So then I'm just going to take it and I'm going to pinch right here just because I like the effect that it gives. And then I'm going to take and tighten this right on that by pulling the one that won't slide through. So you're going to tighten it up just like that. And then I'm just going to lightly pull the end of this tie. I don't want to pull it all the way through. I just want it to be easily disguisable. So I'm going to take it and tuck it right under there. Now I know some of you may be wondering what do I do with this huge tail end? Well that's pretty easy and we'll get to that in just a moment. But right now I'm going to go ahead and fold my collar right on down and we're going to bring that up and just kind of position that tie the way we want it. Right? Okay. And so now that I've got that tie positioned the way that I want it, I'm going to go ahead and take the tail end of my tie and just take it and tuck it in between your buttons on here. 
super simple solution. I know what you may be thinking, people are going to see that. If anyone is that close up on you, please make sure that you're using a excellent mouthwash and an excellent toothpaste because they are all in your mouth. Alrighty, and here you have it. A bow tie converted from a necktie. And it's not too difficult, it may take you a couple times to get it, but I think this is an easy way to kind of expand your wardrobe without expanding your budget any. You can kind of take some of your uh, ties, especially your cheaper ties that are not quite as thick, and be able to turn them into nice bow ties and change up your look altogether. So you want to go from classy to preppy? This is the way to do it. Take care, y'all, and until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.